Hey everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Blue Sun Rising. In the last episode, we started getting the low ground working. Uh, we built our farm dome. Right now it's named Community. And we have a bunch of people living in this dome right now. Um, don't think... Yeah, comfort is really low right now in this building, so we need uh, gaming, relaxation, playing, drinking, and luxury. I don't think we're going to be able to do a lot of that, but... Uh, Oh, we could do an art store down here. That would be some luxury. Um, don't know if I need a security station down here. I may need one down the line, though. And I'll put a lake in here for relaxation purposes. This is a dome. I mean, this is a frontier dome. Because right now, all we're doing out of this one is creating food. Funding received. We haven't put a lot of uh, people into this one yet. And once... It's going to take a while to kickstart this engine and get us to where we need to be. Uh, 22, 23 vacant work slots. So we may need to, and not by May, we're going to need to, uh, put some people down in Pontification 1 and start uh, building that. But I am going to turn the dome off to kind of get us a, more of an increase on the water and uh, more of an increase on the oxygen because we do have oxygen in water towers outside of all these domes. I don't have any natural water production down here, which of course is going to become an issue the second a meteor comes. But I do want to I get this all going. Forever Young is almost done, thank God, because I would try to research that for about four episodes at this point. Now we're going to get seniors back into the workforce. That's going to take care of a lot of, I think, the problems that we've been dealing with. Plasma cutters, I'm going to sideline that for now. And I'm also going to sideline micro manufacturing. I want to get some of these cheaper upgrades going. And maybe get a spire out this episode. I have no spires in the colony. And I think maybe dropping some arcologies down here or here. Farm dome, unfortunately, doesn't have the space for a water reclamation system because it's a barrel dome. Research complete. There we go. That should reduce the number of vacant work slots because now we have seniors. We have 36 of them working. Within the hour, all the cubes across the colony started emitting light pulses, sending a wave of panic across the colony. Even here at Mission Control, we found it hard not to worry. All right, we may be getting to the end game for the power of three here. The photovoltaic effect we observed earlier has completely disappeared. To make things worse, numerous glitches in the drone command software have our technicians scattering to extinguish fires all across the board. Hopefully these are proverbial and not literal. It seems that the pulses from the cubes are somehow interfering with the drone uplink. As reports are flowing in, we can clearly see a trend in the intensification of the light pulses. Is this some kind of countdown? And if so, to what? Okay, starting to worry a little bit here. I am going to restrict this one to uh, specialists only. See if we get more in here. Nope. Screw it. Funding received. That's, uh... Countdowns are bad. You, um, just unpack five. Thankfully, this drone hub, we're actually going to put people to work for the uh, drone manufacturing facility. Need one concrete to get this apartment building done. I have an unemployed person. Can I assign you somewhere? Research complete. All right, now Moxies can get upgraded. Now we're just, just going to burn through some of this stuff. Um, Biorobotics workshop? Yay, whoop de doo Actually, gonna put bioengineering at the top to increase the comfort. Put that in there and that too. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, disconcerting. Hopefully, um, this doesn't like blow up anything. That would be bad. Like crossing the streams, bad. Waste Rock Liquefaction is going to be a needed tech soon. But for now, let's start building some houses. I don't have the smart homes unlocked. They also take a lot of... Concrete. Where's the drone hub for this one? Alright, new drone hub needs to go down here to kind of overlap. Thankfully, I have a hub. Or I have a... Uh, Prefab here. Uh, 
That's just to make sure we have some overlap on this one. And there we go. Get to work. I don't know what's up there, but that robot really wants it. Probably I haven't heard from that one in a while. 28 hours? Okay, that is mesmerizing and scary simultaneously. Alright. I'm gonna turn off the hard workload on that. Nice we actually have uh, this going. What are we doing down here? Our colonists want decisive action in dealing with the cubes. Some of them call for the immediate destruction of all the cubes, while others still insist on storing and studying them, as far away from the gnomes as possible. And yet, the number of eccentrics worshipping the cubes and erecting monuments with them has grown even larger. Could the cubes be affecting us as they influenced our drones? We must not lose focus. Never really finished this one, though. Trying to build a monument down here. Kind of curious what metals this one was trying to get to. Oh, these ones here. That's actually a good amount to go get. They're both going for it. In the tubes. Pathing. Learn it. Alright, I've got 70 housing available there now. That's awesome. That's food being dropped. That's good. Go get it this way. You got a lot of vacant residential slots down here. Um, this dome is going to need some amenities that people will like. How about a casino? Um, we'll put a gym and a bar down here. Of course, uh, funding received. Yeah, the building's off here, so we're fine on that front. Twelve hours left. I'm wondering if this is all for naught, just because Research the domes are going to, you know, kill us. Bioengineering done, so we're working on hygroscopic vaporators now. Actually, no. We'll put that at the bottom of the list. Meteor shower incoming. Crap. It's always something, isn't it? Nine hours and we got a meteor storm incoming, so, hey, who knows, maybe we'll be dead and this won't actually affect us. Resources are low. Yep. I'm wondering if the drones are actually malfunctioning and they're just kind of like skittering about the way they are, or it doesn't look like it. This drone's pathing is so jacked up. I've got no idea why it's doing that. Okay, so I actually can do the uh, the geometric shape like I've got up here. One hour. Low speed. Okay. Looks like we're fighting the cubes for the control of our drones. And we are losing that battle. Between their unusual command cycles, the drones have begun carrying cubes to a specific location and seem to be constructing a strange structure. Diagnostics on the drone software and hardware reveal no clues for any reprogramming. All of our attempts to gather information about the purpose of this operation have failed. Mission Control advises personnel brace for the unknown. In fact, some drones are constructing a mystery building with the cubes. At least the drones aren't attacking us yet. The cubes can't be ignored. It would be irresponsible to mismanage the situation and leave public opinion to sway back and forth on the matter. With the current state of events, we lack sufficient data to judge the purpose of the cubes. It could take years, if not generations, of scientific research to reach a conclusion on that subject. Until then, we will attempt to control the erratic spread of the cubes which hampers our resources and colonization operations by storing them away in a convenient matter. Um, okay. Check it. I don't like that it's very close to one of my domes. Eh. 
That should have shut that off. Turn off. Off. I don't know why these wanted to turn on, though. Wow. We are, uh, wow, we already have kids down here. School. That's what we needed down here. Good reminder. Another cube just popped up right there. And we'll drop an MU down there, too. Going to pick up black cubes. Oh, they're finishing this monument that I started building, like, three episodes ago. like it. Alright, food is... concerning. Anomaly analyzed. The latest research confirms that the cubes seem to be interfacing with each other. Almost like they're forming some kind of device. The science team is divided into two camps. Those who speculate it will amplify the cube signals, allowing them to transmit through the reaches of space, and those who believe it could be some kind of weapon meant for destruction, not communication. Outside the labs, however, the cult of the cubes has gained even more momentum. People are gathering to wait for what they think to be coming of God to humanity's second home. Okay. Get away from that. I think we need to turn uh, pontification on and uh, maybe bring down a rocket. I could actually put a pad right there. That would be great for a landing site. Um, don't have any fuel being made down here, though, so we gotta get on that. Also don't have any. Research complete. Resources are low. I see it. And we'll put the fuel depots. There. It's completely outside the range. I don't I actually know this hub can't actually uh, get to both of them. I like it. Turn that off. Just build this one up just to get it done. Alright, this dome's up. Funding received. Alright, no, you are gonna be a religious composed survivor. Alright, so now we have uh, living opportunities here. Residents. We have 108. Boy. Machine parts we're doing okay on, so I think we're gonna keep. Okay, you guys are in the way now. Alright. Alright. Which one of you isn't working? You! You're not working. You suck. You come up here. We have a job for you. Oh, they can't. Oh, damn. I was hoping they can kind of gather black cubes and take them down there. Alright, Meteor Storm in one hour. Or one soul six. I'm going to drop an MDS back on this back line here. Provide additional protection for this dome. A little bit for this dome. Actually, there is an overlap. There's a gap here in the grid. There we go. Alright, research-wise. We're heading to Martian-born adapt adaptability. That's going to be great for us. We're starting to push things down further. Network nodes now are available to us. Burger Command AI. Let's outsource some more because we got... Look at how much money we got. And I'm actually... Uh, I'm going to do cryo sleep. See if we can just like bring down a crap load of people at once. Drone heavy load. Where are we at? Not anymore. Drone heavy load. Go. Love that. Unfortunately, we need these machine parts. Yep, they're at uh, up speed. 
And we have vacant residences here, which is great, because we can bring down more colonists up here. And send them down there if needed. Shuttle hubs. We're running low on electronics, I'm aware of that, but... At this point, we're just spending it because we need to bulk up the... Ah, that's what I was going to do down here. Put an electronics factory down here. Don't have a space for a machine parts factory because I want to make this dome as comfy as possible for people. I can put a machine parts factory and an electronics factory up there. We have plenty of rare metals on site here. Do we have any concrete? There you go. I like that. You just quickly just deal with it. Infirmary. This electronics factory is malfunctioned. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. -ho. Number of electronics we have on site is just plummeted. Ten billion. Yeah. Let's do it. Only cost four billion to fill it up. Funding received. Then we just get it right back. Because, I mean, with how many rare metals we have on site, Hyperion 1, I'm wondering how many it has actually sent back. Gravity engineering. There's so many things I want to research. How's this dome doing? Meteor incoming. Hit it. Thank you. Meteor storm two hours out, and we're already starting to get uh, the colony being targeted. Let's zoom out, see where this is uh, going to be taking us. Resources are low. Yeah, I know. Wow. Oh, new. No. Yeah, low is a uh, understatement there. All right, they're mainly coming down up here. We're fine. I thought I had plasma rocket for some reason. Where are these guys working? Okay, um... High priority, the farms! I don't know why. Th that building needs to be turned off. That actually is annoying. That all of the botanists decided, oh, I'm going to go work in the electronics factory instead of on the farms that were built for me. That was actually, that was more than slightly annoying. Food is, fo okay, we have a lot of food stored in service building. We have 70 food. That rocket was here for like 30 seconds. Oh, you? Which one of you isn't? Oh, you're not working? Good. Come over here. Gathered it all up? No, you haven't because you're stupid. Once completed, the monument emitted a pulse of all encompassing energy. And we all experienced a single collective dream. Or memory. Wish I would have been over there to see it. Crap. Eons ago, while Earth was still a molten world, Mars had, al had already been a teeming living world covered by oceans and forests. This long-forgotten Mars was the home for a sentient race which quickly mastered their primitive urges and reached technological peaks yet to be conquered by humankind. We witnessed the astonishing evolution of the ancients and the countless metamorphoses that they experienced until they reached a state of existence which allowed them to transcend the boundaries of the material form. Without worrying about resources or lifespan, they traversed the universe, leaving their home behind. But they have not forgotten it. The robust black cubes lay in wait on the red planet for a meeting of the minds. Our actions here were detected by the semi-sentient algorithm which controlled the cubes and triggered the message left by the ancients. 
Some of the accounts given by our personnel describe being talked to in a language both familiar and thoroughly alien, while others describe being shown images most vivid and influencing. Some would even account for experiencing a sort of judgment. The essence of the information was, however, without exception, the same. The ancients were set back by the hostile reaction we had towards their messengers, the cubes. Ultimately, they expressed understanding, noting that they that there were times in their own long history, dark times, when they had the same hostile response towards the unknown. They hope that with time and maturity, we will come to embrace the idea that the universe is a dangerous place, not everything is a threat, and there are also wonders to be discovered. In fact, all the black cubes have disappeared, large-scale excavation has been uncovered. It has been quite a ride, so we have done it, and we completed cubism! The cubism mystery, we got that uh, taken care of. So, I think we have... The Excavator! Using advanced extraction technology allows for the production of concrete directly from the Martian soil without the requirement for a deposit. Where to put it? I've got a lot of spots where I could put it. I could put one right here. The extractor would fit in that area. Um, are you unloaded? Yes, you are. Good. You just drop it off somewhere. Uh, yep, you go. And the excavator, I could put it right there. Just kind of put it off on its own. Or I could put it as a central point within the colony. Needs 30 power. I got the surplus for it. I don't have the machine parts for it. I got the metals. I got the concrete. Unlimited concrete would be pretty kick-ass. Well, we know we have it. So, let's start I'm thinking about bringing more people down. Oh. Damn it. I would have actually liked to have seen that go up. I'm kind of pissed. Alright. Uh, we have plenty of... Wait a minute. Cryo sleep isn't done. Once cryo sleep is complete, then I'll order up a load of colonists. We'll fill this sucker up fast. Okay, you actually need to go to potatoes because you're uh, fully set up. Go to potatoes. Potatoes. Okay, once that's done, then we go to potatoes. The farm dome is going to produce for us. I know that. And it's nice that the shuttles can come down, grab the food they need, and take it to where it needs to go. Alright, potats. Funding received. And no, the meteors are still coming down up here, so we don't have to worry about them right now. Alright, uh, where are we going? Alright. So our Hawking Lab is operational. We got a ton of people working in there. And the other dome, aggregation, that'll have the machine parts factory. We'll put the exact same stuff in there, but we'll probably put in arcology in Research both of them. Complete. Okay, perfect. There we go. Now, let's order some passengers. We have 42 that can now fit on it. Go for that one. Um, we'll actually bring up cowards, because I think I'm going to go for some... Uh, See, perks. I want all of them. Quirks, vegans, absolutely. Specializations, we don't have any down, uh, thumbs down on those. Bring them. Hyperion 2 is going to come down here. 40 people on the rocket. And this is also a compact passenger module, so we're going to have more food coming down as well. I want to have about 30 food up here. Good. Now auto-gather. And not screw up. So lack space for Aspire, but a sanatorium in this dome would probably be pretty good. Just to kind of like make people happier, healthier. Ish. 
I'm actually going to put this down to zero, just to default it where the fruit will come out there, it'll be taken out of there. Oh, we need um, buildings for people to actually, you know, go do things. So I'll put a grocer down, I'll put a diener down, and I'll put an infirmary down as well, just to have the basics, so unfortunately there's no space for any that living quarter has to go. Trust me. Um, we don't have a nursery in here. It's giving me a problem. We need a nursery. We need a playground. Resources are low. Yep. And we need a. What a garden. And then a. Uh... Unfortunately, I don't have any small cubes, so let's put a statue there. All right. Funding received. Drop them. And the dome is on. We have one person living in here. Who lives here? Oh, Beyond Cosmos. Does she go to school here? Nope. A bunch of people coming in now. And we'll turn this on. New colonists have arrived. Okay, you're there, so go potatoes now. There we go. And that potato, and the potato soybeans uh, flip, that's going to be a ton of food for us. Uh, slight fall off on the power, that's fine. Oh, on, on. Alright, uh, what do we need? What's missing? Colonist just snapped. Wow, this happened on Soul 130. Uh, Madonna Grant as every the colonist. Yada 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 yada. Critically low sanity. Provide healthcare buildings in the dome. There is an infirmary. Go to the infirmary. All right, medical center may be needed or something here. And it just seems like we're not getting enough research right now. Hmm. Nothing really doing more for sanity. Uh, hanging gardens, actually, that would be really helpful. Again, so much I want to research, but so little time. So I could bring down another rocket for the uh, the upper level, too. Do I have any decent, uh... I just, I, I, oh yeah, I can't buy applicants. Let's do that. <laughs> I mean, these ones I can work with. I don't want to bring lazy people up here, but I maybe I'll, I don't know if I can treat that in the sanatoriums. All right. Just thinking right now. I do have the polymers. I can do a polymer blades to just kick this all into high gear. Open those up. Actually, no. Close those all up. Jesus. Open. That's why I have those three. That's why I have those four closed. Research complete. Martian ward adaptability. Awesome. Got a slight power drop off. We got a lot stored up battery wise. We're good there. Working during the dark hours, yeah. That Hyperion 2 is gonna lift off from the low end, from the low ground. Not 
Okay, it's a lot of stuff in this dome. Hmm. Hang on. Let's do Nocturnal Adaptation. That'll, uh, that actually gives us the boost uh, during night shifts. And since uh, MIS up on the high ground is working night shifts, this will actually help us. See where the water's at. All right, we're good there. Funding received. Okay, waste rock's got to come up here somewhere. If it doesn't come up, it's just going to be bad for us. And then, almost done on the outsourcing. I think uh, once Soul One Thirty One starts, we'll be able to outsource again. Thought I ordered passengers for some reason. Okay, there we go. Order more up. Let's keep these going. But we'll keep it going in the next episode. We're going to keep researching. I'm going to keep this series going, even though we've finished up with the mystery. I want to keep this one going. Uh, let's see. Milestones and scores. <clears throat> um, do want to get the wonder, the workshops. I'm going to go for the workshops uh, in this playthrough before I wrap it up. And then go for the megadomes and all the extra colonists. We're at 234 right now. Uh, Colonist-wise... Nope. We've had a lot of kids born in the colony. I think if we just bring, just Funding keep bringing received. down rockets, we'll be fine. We got kids here. We got, nope, uh, schools here. I'm actually going to open up a work shift in the overnight hours if the kids want to go to school at night. Because we do have nocturnal adaptation that's going to be done very soon. Also going to probably get aggregation... Uh, number one operational in the next episode. I'll probably start putting buildings down in there. We'll keep building everything out. And maybe uh, maybe a high ground site, another site over here. Start building more domes. Start uh, like, uh, start flushing out the map a little bit. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.